Hello and welcome, I'm Sishim Mindahanga. Today I will be showing you the ISD TC4. It's a charger and it's the first, first video in my new light setup. I hope you notice the difference. I hope the quality looks fine. It's my third charger from ISDT. I got it from Banggood. It looked decent to me and it has one feature that uh, caught my attention. Namely, it can charge those 18650 cells. And I will show you in a second why I use those cells. Intro rolling. So we have the ISD TC4 charger here. Um, that's the unboxing. It looks like this. You see it's 12 volt 2.5 amps barrel plug. It makes this funny sound. It has a nice display. Those are the cells I'm using, the pink ones, the Samsung, I will link them below. You have reverse polarity protection, which instantly gives you an alarm if you insert it the wrong way, nothing will break. And if you just insert them, on default it starts charging. And it's a nice thing that you see the power level here, and of course you will also get the graphic. Already the first and for me the only downside of this thing is the noise level. I mean if you charge it in your, let's say in your shop, it might be okay, but if you have it lying around in the living room or anywhere near the living room, this is quite annoying. So it's loud. It has this fan here in the back and the fan starts making this kind of noise instantly. You have touch buttons here, like up, down and menu buttons. Long pressing it gives you the options to start or stop. You can uh, charge, discharge, storage, charge them, cycle or analysis. It first it charges, then full discharges and charges again. And in the end it will show you how many milliamps it could charge into a fully empty it's a total empty battery. <laughs> it's nice just on camera. It finished its job and the job takes quite some time as you see three hours and almost 50 minutes it took to charge, discharge and charge again. These in comparison to Life Fire, they are no good. They are labeled as 3000 milliamp, but they only have 1000. I'm not sure who would write fire on a, a lithium ion battery. The least advertisable attribute of a battery, in my opinion. You can switch between those two fuse. The other thing, if you want to charge things like those normal double uh, A sized batteries and a loops you have the minus in the bottom and it's the same the orientation is now of course different you see the charge indicator here you see the percent and the power levels and yeah if you enter them there you just get a charge and alternating between those, those four base or those two here you see the charging curve and it's really nice to see how much milliamp did I charge into this any loop okay trying to get some close-up shots for you as well that's the annoying fan it has a USB power source and it has a yeah, firmware upgrade USB micro slot here As you've seen, my only downside I found was the noise level. It's okay if you're charging somewhere where the noise level is not an issue for you. About those cells, live fire, throw them away or don't buy them at all, I'd say. I got them from Red Bee and I have to talk to them, and, but yeah, maybe they know it already and don't sell them anymore. I got this fat chuck cell battery pack, so you can insert those cells here. Mind the polarity and in theory get 3000 milliamps because with the internal module they need a lot of juice those fat chucks 
thing with those lithium ion batteries is if they are around half empty you will already get the beeps on the fat chuck. So it's not optimal and maybe it's a better idea to get uh, a larger sized LiPo with this kind of plug. There is actually a, a blog post from Oscar Liang about how to power up your fat chuck goggles. Go check it out. He, he compared a few different things. Of course, if you want to get these, they are not super comfortable on, on the side of your head because they are considerably larger than the normal ones. You know now something about C4 from ISDT. The other ISDT charges I have. <laughs> uh, this ultra small here is nice. It's the SC608. And this is the bigger one. It's a two port charger. The D2. ISDT D2. I think I already made a video about this and I'll link it now. Okay, that's kind of it for today. Hope you liked my new studio setup. That's my Galaxy S7 mounted on this extendable boom here. I wanted to have it as, as low profile as possible. And the nice thing about the Android phones, maybe the iPhones do it as well, you can say video aufnehmen and it starts recording without you having to touch it. And then the other thing, that's a little studio tour. Here's my Lumix GX8 with a good lens and a good microphone on it. And recently I got those arms here. They can be extended to one and a half meter almost with good studio lights. This is just the background light. I also have the soft box light up there. And another one of those studio lights here. The studio lights. Go check them out. The studio lights are newer. They could be driven off with two batteries and I can dim it the white and the yellow LEDs. It has 660 LEDs, 330 of white and yellow each. This is a 12 volt barrel connector and you can switch between battery power battery power here too and normal wall plug power. The lights have those barn doors. So that's the little studio update tour. Thanks for watching a lot. Make sure to subscribe and hit also the bell icon to get notifications to my video which would be nice if you check back in the next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.